Hi everybody, Judy here. Um, welcome to 2021. Um, in, uh, in 2020, during the COVID, I actually um, did a series of work in this beautiful book I had and um, I posted the making of them and they were just postcards that I sent out. Um, some of them I sent out, some of them I kept, but I, I scanned in my work, of course. So um, what I'm gonna do for this particular, and it, it is a scroll that I'm creating today, so it is another kind of a scroll, um, but one where I'm actually gonna use a piece of artwork that I've designed here in, in the small version um, from last year, and then I, Printed it out, just on copy paper. It wasn't, yeah, it's not even on um, onion skin. Um, I was gonna print it on onion skin, and then I thought, no, I'll just give it a whirl. Not everyone has onion skin, but obviously onion skin, if you've got it, I would print it on onion skin, I suppose. So I really, really loved that, that that's my work, and I can create that in a scroll and have that as a piece. Um, the other things that I was going to use was um, all what I've been working on just lately. Extremely similar to to the last one, but the ends are, the ends are different. And obviously, the creating of this one is slightly different due to the fact that this is actually much much bigger. And whether I'm, you know, I don't know whether I'm going to crop this picture or what I'm going to do with it. The other thing I wanted to do in this one was um, add words. So I printed out some words that um, I would like in this, um, which are, you know, trust your trust is your intuition, or intuition is seeing with the soul. Um, happiness, happiness often sneaks in through a door you didn't know you left open. So one of those I want to incorporate in this picture because there is a door, this beautiful ancient door in in this. Um, collage that I did earlier. The other thing of course I do have them in both colours. I printed them in two different colours just in, in case uh, one you know suited better. Um, I might coffee skate or gesso these two because I think I feel they might be too white but at this point I'm, I'm not sure. Um, so that was my picture that I want to actually display and, and I love the scroll because it's storable. So you might have one area where, you know, and you're, um, I am prolific at creating stuff, if you haven't noticed. And um, I, I like change. So I now have one area where my scroll is and I can just roll them up, store them very easily in one of the little boxes and just hang another one there or sell them or do whatever I do with them. At this moment, um, I seem to be just collecting them because um, it's Christmas and everyone's, you know, done dusted but I want to put them in an exhibition actually when I'm finished so I will organize that now the other thing that um, I have a couple of sets of printables out there and you've probably seen it if you're a subscriber you will have noticed that AJD printables which is um, named after my children is is um, out there and and I'm forever putting new new stuff on after I create it um, this is a print of one of them and I feel like one of the scripts it's script two I think and I really feel like that that will that will actually go with uh, the colors in in here in the door and so forth now whether I use the whole thing whether I use it I'm not too sure whether I use it at all I also have them all printed off small um, so that's kind of cool if I wanted to um, use them in any way and yep yeah, you can see them on my uh, my etsy site and the other piece i wanted to use which so i'm creating a lot of a lot of my work that i've actually created in the last two months i'm actually utilizing for these particular art pieces um these are the gum leaf um printables and the gum and what i've done on these is the gum leaf printables i printed them out um, all in different sizes so it is the file and you can enlarge it it's quite a large file you can enlarge them and shrink them down and do whatever you want with the different kinds of um, 
prints. Uh, this is the one that I, I want, I think that I want to use. And I also wish to use this enlarged one. Yeah, I quite liked, quite like that one too. So I'm gonna leave those ones out to work with and just put all these away. And then I will come back. Now it is the same size, pretty much, um, what was it, 40 inches long and, um, or 100, 110 centimeters, 100, yeah, something like that. Um, the, the, the end is very different though. So um, actually 100 will be enough because the end is added on on this one. It actually is not part of the scroll. So anyway. Um, I will be back in a minute once I sort out the table. Okay, I'm back. All right now, so I have taken all the sides off um, with the metal ruler and I've trimmed this one back actually just to um, the size I want. I'm putting these aside for the moment and the words. I've glued down probably an inch and a half, um, inch and three quarters, four and a dash centimeters over just for strength on each end because I am going to stitch this one. So this is going to have stitching on it. Um, at, that is the idea at this point in time. Things, things do change with me as you know. Um, so here are the two pieces that I'm going to work with, a really large impacting piece and a piece of script at the bottom. Obviously I'm going to collage and frottage around the whole thing too. Um, I've cut out the round, I'm not sure that I want that round or whether I want the square but um, I think I'm just going to leave it on there and I'm going to put it at the top in the top area. So. Just working out where the start of the collage will go. You know, the, the main the main pieces. Now I'm just going to glue it down with um, my glue stick, and I'm going to put a book on top of it on both of them, and then I'm going to leave it overnight so that it's really nice and dry. And I will come back tomorrow. Okay, you take care. So welcome back. Um, so now. I've gone a little bit ahead and it is, um, I just move this out of the way. Now, remember I got um, all the pieces I thought I was going to use and then I slept on it while this was um, gluing on. So this is all beautifully glued on now, glued down, as you can see. And I how to think about it during the night and I decided that really what I liked about this was um, the scripts on it and the large script and the blues so what I've decided to do what I printed off and you've probably all got I have many many different kinds of paper um, and also like stamps that I've jelly printed this is actually a jelly jelly printed piece and I have just cut them up different sizes along the way and very similar to the, so it's the sides and the ends that I'm doing now, okay? That's what I seem to, I like to start there. So I decided what I would do is I would have these beautiful blue um, um, frottage leaves that um, I've printed off. That these are my Etsy page prints and I'm gonna put one of those on either end I think that way it depends yep. now they're doubled over and the reason they're doubled over is because I really like them for the strength as I said I'm gonna sew this one so that's like four layers now on that end and the reason I do the sides is it's kind of the same thing. Now, um, just making sure that if you haven't folded them over, uh, that the quite as well as that um, 
the white doesn't show through, so just flip it round. Because uh, I did make a mistake on one of them where the white kind of shine, shine through a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm actually laying this out, out and I can only show you how I'm doing doing it as I'm doing it because it's, it's a bit difficult. I want to just kind of put it together for you so you um, have an idea of what I'm doing. And I can actually see it before I glue it all down. So kind of mixing and matching these different kinds of papers at the moment. And they're all different thicknesses too. Um, see Now see how you can see through, or you probably can't, but you can see through. Am I even on camera? Yes. Um, you can see through that I've got a bit of a ripped piece, which I don't mind. I'm not, I'm not that pedantic. Um, I quite like that um, spontaneous, spontaneous bit. Let me just move this all up there. Put my rubber, my flip books, push them all in a bit. Okay, is that better? Yes. Okay. So these are the ripped bits. So I need to turn that round and actually have. The flip, the ripped bit on this side is what I've decided. So I'm just going to do this end so you can actually see before I start gluing down. And this is how I'm going to, maybe not upside down though, I might have that Greek or Roman paper. So they're just all different scripts that I'm using. And this one is um, one of the pieces of jelly printed and it's got a bit of gold in it. So that's going to go in too. So, and then I'm not going to put them opposite each other. I am probably going to use the same script on either side. But I'm not going to use the same, like it, it completely opposite. I need to sort of change it up a bit. So I'll just work on this while, um, I'll just work on this. Now also you have to make the decision as if whether or not you want this to end here and this go over there, which I think that's how I want it. I want this, this to end at the end and that to end there. Um, they are the same though, so I might change that round. Let me to this piece. Now you can zoom through if you don't want to watch me actually create and how I do this. Um, you can zoom through. So I probably want only three of these pieces sticking out and I like I feel like this other one should be about there and then maybe another one on this side and I don't know whether I'm going to keep that piece on there or not or whether I'm going to remove that that's the other thing um, I might remove remove that bit on a couple of them and just see which kind of looks better. No, I think without maybe without there. So this is the play. that one off too. I have, I have this one here with actually. No. Now the other thing I've got to play with, so this is kind of the idea. of the idea I'm having 
Now, the other thing I found, and um, I don't know whether I'm going to utilize it in this, but when I was going through my papers, and you probably all might know what these are. If you do, you could let me know. So um, they're beautiful rice paper, and they've got just a square of silver foil or gold foil with this orange piece. Um, and they're called Joss paper. And I've got a whole packet of them, but I, on it, they're, they're, they're not like the um, gold leaf sheets. They don't come off. They're actually on the paper. So I would love to know what they are. <laughs> um, I feel like I could, I could jelly print on them really, really nicely though. So, um, but I was co contemplating, you know, maybe putting one in here, but I think it might be the wrong, the wrong tone, the wrong color. Um, but yes, if anyone knows what they are, that would be very helpful to tell me. Um, not that I really need to know, I suppose, but because uh, I know what I'm going to use them for. Uh, okay, now the other thing I had was these lovely pieces. Now I got these on um, my little, they're just little wooden, wooden cut out pieces that um, I bought. And I was, you know, as I said, I was going to do some sewing on this. So I was thinking about you know putting one of these maybe somewhere and I am going to roll it so um, probably it wouldn't it won't interfere that much but anyway the little ones won't interfere at all this big one might interfere a little bit but I haven't put these on but it's either those or the um, the beautiful gold like show you this I think I did I haven't decided which one yet though. This is a really enormous pair of earrings that um, I bought. Not that I'm going to use them as earrings though. Um, I really like to want to use one of these. Now I'm going to sew. So these are actually going to be sewn on. Whichever one I decide to use, I will be sewing it to the actual um, piece. All right, so I'm just going to go and glue down now um, this and I will be back. Um, hi, just thought I'd come back um, and show you uh, a bit of a trick that I've found. Sometimes the sides get quite um, difficult to find the middle line in this fold, you know, so that they all line up and they're all sort of perfect. So what I've been doing is I've actually been uh, drawing a line down that central point um, just with a pencil then I've been gluing up this side for instance here so I've glued up there's the pencil mark there um, so you can actually put it on without any difficulty and make sure that it's folding over correctly before you put down and making sure there's no air bubbles anything in that and rolling it out I've been using this today other than that, just a piece of um, pipe or your anything else, <laughs> anything else you've got kicking around just to make it flat. So once you've got this piece in, it's easy to just glue this one really well down too. So I just thought I'd show you that, that trick that I am using now. And then that will flip over just perfectly and then I just push down like so all right I'm gonna check that you actually saw that <laughs> okay so I'm back um, I'm just making one of these a little bit smaller and I decided I'd make it um, a bit more spontaneous uh, like so I have done that side so I've flipped it up and so now I'm just working with what I want on this side uh, 
have everyone is good. So I had lovely Christmases and so forth. Um, okay. So I think those are going to go there. This wider one print is going to go up here. round off that corner I don't really know why but anyway like so I think transition in okay I mean this is only the the edging we haven't even started really creating the rest of it um, so I'm just going to do these final pieces and then um, we will get on with the frottage and the other things that I'm going to add okay hello hello so i've finished um at this point these are the only two pieces i had left over of, um, oh, there's another one there and another one there actually those little tiny pieces now i'll show you how it looks um, so far, uh, so that's how how far we've got. Obviously, um, there's all these little pieces that, of course, you know I like to keep, um, and I'll put them into my flip book because uh, the flip book is getting rather full. <laughs> I might have to make another one just in case I wanted to use you know any other part of that in this particular let's put them in there so I know where they are that tiny little bit just can go in in that little pocket there I made um, so That away. Oh, in fact, I think I had to tie it again. It's got so big since I tied it last. Um, so now we're moving on. Oh, there's another bit. So now we're moving on to um, hmm. not too sure. I don't actually want to. actually just utilize that bit there just to join everything together I might glue that on there Just whack that on. Oops. This is just um, from the post with labels, you know, when you when I send things off, I print out the labels and it has that wonderful paper that uh, doesn't stick to anything. So just look at that there. Now, um, so I wanted to show you the thing I was going to use at the end, which I probably haven't shown you. Now, so this is cork. I picked this up at um, Lingcraft, like an art supply um, store would have it, or I don't know what. Yeah, it's just cork. It's like thin cork, but it's actually been... It's really strong. It's been fused onto material. 
but it's cork. So I'm going to use that as the structural pieces um, to join up here. So we need some of this or something like this. Obviously you might not be able to get this particular um, thing. And there's a whole heap of sticky tape I'm just removing here. Um, but you might be able to get something similar or some sort of wide cord that you have in the cupboard already. Something that you, you know, so it's actually going to go and be stitched on. So it's going to go round like this and be stitched on at this point. This is what I think. Um, we will get to that, but I just thought I'd tell you about that just so that you can see if you can find something in your um, art supplies that might work. Might work. Um, okay, so frottage. So I did a really, and you probably saw, I did a really short video on frottage because um, I didn't realise people didn't really know what frottage was. So um, if you've watched that, then you'll understand. Um, so I really liked in colour, you know, so these are all frottage, they're all different. Um, one of them, this is my um, script from many, many, many years ago that I designed. And um, I have it in a stencil that I use on my jelly plates. Um, but you can use any. Robin McClellan's got a new one out, so you mean you could use hers. Uh, she actually has uh, stencils made, and she's right out there. <laughs> and I do love watching her. Um, her early ones are. I love watching her early work. Yeah, now it's getting. Um, I've, I've got my own my own style, I suppose. But um, she was a good inspiration when I was um, first looking at um, jelly printing and and intuitive scripting and so forth. Um, so now. I think I've decided that I'm going to, I really like this dark and light and this is made with the graphite pencil and this is made with a, uh, this is made with a graphite stick I should say, this is made with the graphite pencil um, and I might also get not only that but I also might try and find my just um, lettering, my different kind of lettering, because that kind of would join it all together. So I will go and find those and I will be back. So we were going to just talk about um, placement of words before I get to do the frottage. Um, so I had a couple of different things that I uh, printed out and I did um, clear gesso them with coffee stain, uh, the coffee stain gesso just to tone them up because they were way too white for this particular project. Um, I decided that I would go with just um, very simple words and I did also decided not the um, green which uh, it just sort of lost and I'll show you. Um, it kind of it just faded away um, into here. I wanted to put it I wanted to put the words in on on the actual picture. Intuition is seeing with the soul, and um, with the I just felt that it, that would just disappear and it wouldn't be noticeable. But in saying that, I probably should just try it. You know, rip them up and just give it a whirl. I'll just make sure that that's level at the edge. Edge, so therefore you're ripping straight and I always keep all these coffee stain pieces for stamps and things to make, make your own stamps with um, so intuition is 
so I don't know which one I like better now. So these were just printed, as I said, and um, clear gessoed with a coffee stained gesso that I make. Um, the rule is on the edge of the page, it should rip straight. Although that bit didn't rip straight because I buggered that up, didn't I? <laughs> Bits. So you could put them on the paper, um, but at this moment I think I really do feel that uh, so it's either that intuition or that intuition. And I will just do soul. before and I will stick these on before I frottage because um, I would like um, them to be blended in so I will put those away somewhere now let me just look for a second I need to stand up and These words that you're putting in here could be absolutely anything. No, I still think I like the black ones better. But that's okay. Those can go into one of my flip books all ready to go. Um, trust in your intuition, I also um, did. So I might I might rip them up and put them into a flip book so I've got them um, for future reference on something that I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna glue those down and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the moment. And the thing I notice about it that um, is bothering me <laughs> is um, it needs something here. Just in this spot here, a larger, a larger piece. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use from my printables. I mean, remember how I printed out the, all of the pages from my... Um, script work, my script printables. Um, I printed them all out on in small. So um, I'm going to use this one here, which is the same colour um, as the same colour as the one I've got. Okay, so I've cut out, um, I've just cut out two. Although I really like this one too. Uh, so maybe I might just cut that out and then I can have, I like this one, or oh, is it this one here? Oh, actually no, I can just use that one. <laughs> so many to choose from, okay, so. So these were printed um, on just printed, that's one page and they're all, well, there's nine of them on each page that I chose. But you can print them smaller or bigger or, you know, and however many times you want. Um, but even though that one here is this same, different style, but same colouring. I think I'm going to go with that. Quite like that one. Alright, now I need to know whether I'm putting one or two. Okay, give me a second. I have to just look at it, stand up and take it away. Alright, where 
so I've just put one of them up there. Okay. So now we're going, we've done the words that we want on it. And we're going to do some frottage. We have some, one of my large scripts, one of my small hand design scripts, just a normal ABC. And also, I really, really like this. I'm drawn to this. Um, particular pattern so I think what we're going to start with is not the pattern I think we're going to start with just some large making sure they're around the right way which is I believe. No, I can't remember. I kind of look similar, hey? <laughs> Alright. So you can actually see through this beautiful translucent paper to do this. Now, remember you've got your tester, so you can look at, back at this and see so this is what it looks like if it's using the pencil and the pencil is um a do and intense outliner actually so it's um it's kind of like a graphite uh, but it's it's probably it doesn't say what it is but it's probably um close as close to six six b or something whereas this is nine b the really 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 dark graphite you might have um, some pencils kicking around that would actually do that or charcoal, but you would have to really be careful I suppose with ch with charcoal. Yeah um, there's also uh, Yeah, what was I gonna say? Ah, there's also the wax, but the wax comes on Not as well. It doesn't show up the actual script as well. So we're just gonna start and I am gonna just start really a little and work on just little areas that I want some of this script in. have these down yeah yeah Ooh. mix it up a little bit I think and um Put in some small. Hmm. 
through to the make a bit of a bold statement going in through there. Alright, so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So it's just a matter, and I don't know whether I'm going to actually fill the whole page um, with this or, or not. Um, but I won't continue doing it on, on here. I will actually stop and just finish the other bits and then I'll come back. All right, I'm finished. Okay, so there it is, the next layer with the graphite frottage on it. So now the question being is, what do I do next? <laughs> um, so there's, <laughs> there's two things I want to do. First of all, I do want to add gold to this in some way, I've decided. And I do want to add these pieces. Um, I told you I was going to sew these on. And I haven't quite worked out where they're going to go, but um, I will work that out. And I will get ready to do the next. Um, I have to seal this. Then I will do, after I've sealed it, um, I will do the um, gold work, I think. All right, so I'll be back soon. Okay, so um, after a few tests with different flow paints, um, I decided that I would draw some script on with this Cobalt Blue Hue High Flow Acrylic by Holcroft. Um, I probably won't do it all on camera because it's quite difficult uh, with my camera just above and um, but I will be practicing on camera. <laughs> Uh, and then I might go away to the bigger table, but uh, you've seen me do this before You've got to give this um, These bottles of a very good shake Before you start uh, And open it up Just at a time until you get a drawing flow. Well, that's what I do. Until you get a drawing flow, which is... Oh, there it is. So... Okay, so it's very, very flowy. <laughs> okay, now it's spontaneity. doesn't seem to be um, bubbling up quite as much as um, it normally does. Oh, where the devil have I put the spray bottle? I just had it. 
this is rubbing alcohol now the reason i spray it with rubbing alcohol is because it does have makes air bubbles and i think i'm just going to do another one probably up the top here but um i haven't got enough room on my camera so i will be back in the end i just highlighted that little um one at the top so that's that i've got to just leave that to dry now 